Hey, how's it going, everybody? So today I'm going to talk about the impact of technology in the fitness industry. And I kind of want to start off with uh, like a little scenario of like imagine going to the gym and the gym is like really packed and like there's really nothing, nothing to uh, use at the gym. So, I mean, to me, I would just go home or even do like a small little workout. But, you know, I'm there to get like a full workout. And usually I stay there for an hour, but now I have to cut it like 30 minutes. Uh, those who do go to the gym, you kind of know what I'm kind of talking about. So moving on. Uh, how has it impacted? Uh, Hugo Bram, he's a co-founder and CEO of a fitness uh, service uh, app. And he found that 60% of gyms and over half of studios used online group classes and uh, 50 the percent of gyms used in-app community features during COVID-19. It's also a growing industry, which is worth about 30 billion in the U.S. alone, and it's still growing even till this day. There's also easier access uh, to work out, such as YouTube videos, apps, online programs, um, communication. Trainers can talk to clients or athletes on training programs, diets from home, or even at the gym. Um, you can keep a constant co communication with them about anything. Uh, tracking performance is easier than it was way way back then. Uh, there, we have computers, we have cameras, um, and we could see things that, uh, let's say, athletes want to improve on. It's also uh, a great way to eliminate injuries. Technologies can help uh, reduce the risk of injuries by tracking movements, performances, even recordings. Five ways technology is used in the fitness industry is online workout plans. There's online fitness programs out there, um, wearable technology, pretty sure everyone knows what Apple Watch is or a heart rate monitor, uh, virtual reality, uh, there's virtual fitness classes out there, um, AI powered workout classes, uh, fitness apps, and smart gym equipment. Uh, Tonal, which is a smart home gym, uh, which uses actually no weight. The weight is programmed into the system that is used and it has live and on-demand coaches from cardio, HIT, uh, yoga training, and it also tracks your progress at real time. And it's also used uh, by pro athletes such as LeBron James. Another thing is uh, Tonal. Uh, it, you can, uh, or it sets the weight for you, or you can uh, move the weight yourself, which is really cool. And it's super simple, and it's just, you can just work out at home. Oh, yeah. I'll take a break on the video. Next one is gaming. Uh, Jim Bagley, or Jimmy Bagley, he's a professor at San Francisco State University who studies how virtual reality is used in health and exercise. And he says virtual reality games aren't always marketed as exercise, but our research shows that when you play them, you can deliver the workout equivalent to walking on a treadmill and cycling on a stationary bike. And the cost of a virtual reality headset is about $400. And there's games such as Beat Saber, which is kind of like uh, Guitar Hero and Star Wars combined together and Thrill of the Fight, which is more of like a boxing type of game. Overall, technology has impacted the fitness industry in many ways. It's made the industry into a billion dollar industry and has made working out easier and fun. I mean, who wouldn't want to get like a VR and just work out or even a smart home gym when you could just work out at home and it's just super simple without even having any weights. You know, technology has impacted this industry so many ways and all you got to do is just touch a button. Thank you.